so the first official trailer of season five has just been released so i thought we'd just like go over everything and talk about what happened so it starts with marinette jogging across a bridge and can i just say i really love her outfit then we see Marinette and Kagami both on her bike. Adrian is on his phone, I think like walking out of the school. I'm not entirely sure, but either way, he's by Marinette and he can see her. And you see Marinette take off her helmet and do the like hair shake thing that Kagami did in repost. But here's my favorite part. So Adrian sees this and this is his reaction. Do y'all see that look on his face? Not to mention the reason that we see the pink bubbly background when she shakes her head is because we are seeing this from Adrian's perspective, which is just like everything I've absolutely ever wanted and more. We've never had a scene where Adrian looks at Marinette and the pink background pops up. He is in love with her. Okay, I could talk about that all day, so I'm gonna move on before I do end up talking about it all day. We have Ladybug and Cat Noir running on a rooftop and they both look at each other and nod. Then we see a clip of Marinette and Adrian transforming into Lady Noir and Mr. Bug, which means that they come back fun fact when i first saw this for like a split second i was like oh marinette isn't wearing her glasses and then i was like wait she doesn't even wear glasses <laughs> yeah i felt really dumb after that but she just looked a little bit off and for some reason my brain thought that it was because she wasn't wearing her glasses next we see cat noir cataclysming is that even a word i don't know anyway he cataclysmed some type of like light thing which is probably the akumatized villain's power, whoever is akumatized. And Ladybug is behind him. It almost looks like she's like on the phone or something. I don't know. Is that just me? But then we see Cat Noir looking like he's about to like pick up some rope or something when he gets or almost gets hit, but Ladybug saves him. The next clip, we end up going back to Mr. Bug and Lady Noir and they are running and like stuff is like falling behind them. But yet again, we have another Lady Noir scene where they are running up to a building and Ladybug ends up like kicking the door down. I'm not really sure why. Next up, is yes you guessed it another lady noir scene this is of lady noir sitting in front of the eiffel tower with a sunset in the sky like always but they are sitting further apart and the reason that i think they're sitting further apart is just because i mean cat noir has been trying to get over ladybug i think maybe at the beginning of season five he's like really trying to get over her so he could be trying to like create some distance between them it's not because cat noir is not in love with her he still is he's just trying to get over her which we know is impossible but still and it's not because anything bad happened between lady noir i just genuinely think he's just trying to distance himself from her because i mean in his eyes that's what ladybug wants but my little love square lady noir brain <laughs> thinks that maybe ladybug will end up trying to like get closer to cat noir like she'll end up like scooching towards him or something kind of like she did in kudoneko when he like sat a little further away from her and she like scooted towards him next up we end up seeing gabriel transforming into monarch after we see a new akumatized villain and this is actually the girl that showed everyone around in puppeteer 2 her name was like veronique or something like that and i don't know if this is like intentional or not but like the yellow drippy stuff on her suit genuinely kind of looks like wax so anyway that is who it is next is another akumatized villain but this one is not new it's dark cupid but his outfit is a little different from the original one after that we see monarch touching one of the rings and i believe he's actually going to be transferring the power from the ring to the akumatized villain Right after we see Monarch touching the ring, we end up seeing an akumatized villain with the same ring that we saw Timo and Gabriel working on in Multiplication. And we end up seeing a frame where like we end up going into the ring and there's like this tech stuff, but then it ends up turning into like this glowing goat symbol. But then the akumatized villain ends up having the same like wand power thing that the goat miraculous has, meaning that they now have the power. But then we end up seeing Ladybug picking up one of those rings in the art room. So so I'm guessing whoever got akumatized end up dropping the ring and Ladybug found it. My guess is that at this point Ladybug does not know that the ring is basically how the akumatized villain is able to actually like have the miraculous power. Now is probably the saddest scene ever. Okay, maybe not like the saddest ever, but it's definitely really close because it's of Adrian hugging Natalie and I think she might be leaving. And I mean, I get why she's leaving. Like I'm I'm glad she is. I think that staying would honestly end up harming her a lot more than she's already been harmed like physically and mentally probably i just feel like her staying and like helping gabriel wasn't really helping like she would probably end up just like emily if she kept going so i'm really proud
proud of her for like making the decision to end up like leaving but it's still really sad because adrian loves natalie so much she's literally the one that has been taking care of him ever since his mom died like natalie is practically adrian's mom at this point and i feel like adrian really loves natalie almost like she is like a second mom and it's just gonna be really sad to see her go i mean we don't know that she actually is going but based off of adrian's facial expression when he hugged natalie just kind of to me says that she's leaving i really hope she somehow ends up coming back maybe like after monarch is defeated i don't know maybe oh my gosh wait what if like natalie ends up like adopting him oh that's wait that's cute anyway moving on from the sadness lastly for the trailer we have ladybug's eye and she looks kind of shocked i don't really know what she's looking at but i guess whatever it was was surprising Honestly, my first guess would be that she's looking at her greatest wish, which leads me to the next thing I want to talk about. So these last two things I'm going to talk about aren't necessarily in the trailer, but I really wanted to talk about them. So this first picture spoiler is of Ladybug and Cat Noir about to kiss. Yeah, you heard me right. They're about to kiss. Now, the likelihood of them actually kissing is very low since this is miraculous, but that's not necessarily my point. The point is, she wanted to kiss him. Basically, I saw this post on Instagram that says, if she really did get hit by Dark Owl with the jubilation power here, then that means she desires to kiss Cat Noir, since she wants to defeat Monarch with Cat. If you guys remember, the pig miraculous is the miraculous of jubilation. And if you guys remember Guilt Trip, basically the power shows one's greatest wish. So basically, if she got hit, that means her greatest wish is kissing Cat Noir. So the almost kiss we saw is probably a part of what's shown to her in her wish, which means they most most likely don't actually ever kiss it's almost like a dream sequence type of thing and that's most likely why there's like that pink mist around them but even though they're not actually kissing it still tells us that she's in love with him like how can you say you're not in love with him if your greatest wish is literally kissing him which the fact that she's in love with him is definitely something we already knew but maybe seeing this could be one of the factors that play into her actually realizing her feelings for him now going back to the clip where we see ladybug's eye like i said i don't know this for sure but that could be a clip from like when she's actually looking at her wish so like the reason that she's surprised or shocked is because she's literally looking at her and cat noir about to kiss <laughs> but lastly we have a picture spoiler of marina and adrian holding out their miraculous and they are crying which is so sad but if you guys remember the synopsis for kwame's choice you guys know that ladybug and cat noir are going to be giving up the miraculous just for two episodes ladybug and cat noir aren't leaving forever but it was kind of Tiki and Plague's choice to have them do that so that way they'd be able to like finally have a love story because they couldn't have one before because of Ladybug and Cat Noir. So my guess is this is probably from when Tiki and Plague just told them the plan and they probably accepted it and were like okay let's do this but they're probably crying because they're giving up their role as Ladybug and Cat Noir which I mean if I were in their position I would be crying too. It's honestly an extremely big deal, so I can tell why they're sad. But luckily, we know everything works out in the end because they're only not Ladybug and Cat Noir for two episodes, so everything's okay, everything's good. Anyway, that is everything. I'm really excited. I can't wait for more episodes to come out. By the way, we don't have any kind of release date for another episode, just in case anyone was wondering, so we don't really have anything for a little bit, but we could get an episode pretty soon.